everybody knows that hippocampus is related to, to the memory and to the Alzheimer disease, but uh, uh, B, uh, where uh, we studied also uh, extreme stress on the impact of extreme stress on hippocampus. And this is a, a Holocaust uh, uh, survivor study. Uh, we, we are performing a large study of three generations uh, of uh, Holocaust survivors and uh, children and grandchildren. And uh, so when looking at the Holocaust survivors, uh, we see 70, 75 years after the war, uh, we see uh, the reduction of uh, several cortical areas related to the stress like insula, uh, anterior cingulate, uh, uh, ventral medial cortex and so on, uh, but not of hippocampus and uh, amygdala. Recently uh, we submitted, a, it's not yet published, a study uh, about the prenatal stress in Holocaust survivors. So we compared uh, the uh, Holocaust survivors born between 1940 and 45. Uh, the median age in 45 was two years. Uh, so uh, the mothers uh, suffered from extreme stress, but not, not the children. And uh, we compared this group with uh, uh, persons, uh, Holocaust survivors born between nine, uh, before 1939, so before the war, and uh, there is a significant difference in the volume of hippocampus and amygdala in uh, uh, this prenatal group. There is uh, the, the volume is uh, is uh, is smaller, uh, even 70, 75 years after the war. We can see this this, uh, this difference. So, uh, the, so we, we can say that um, uh, reduction of, uh, of uh, uh, hippocampal volume is age-related. It uh, can start in prenatal and early postnatal period, and then in later age, in age uh, after 50, 60 years, and uh, is related to various. Uh, issues, not only memory, like in uh, Alzheimer's disease, but also to stress, uh, at least it's stress in very early life period, and to Parkinson's disease related to uh, some other cognitive issues than memory, uh, like uh, speed, uh, cognitive speed, uh, attention, and so on. So these are our hippocampal study so far.